Hello, hello, everyone. Hello, Erica and Sue, Donna, Rachel, Brenda, Carol, Krista, Martha. Lots of my friends, Natalie, Martha. I know Lori is here. Marsha, hello, Linda and Cynthia. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay. Oh, you like my t-shirt. It's, it's kind of bright and fun and a little bit vintage looking. I like it. Okay. Hello, Julia. All right. Okay. So let's get into a couple of little announcements before we start while everybody is popping in. And as I welcome everyone here and welcome everyone that comes in um, to watch the replay, we have some exciting things going on here. So if you are not already subscribed here to our YouTube channel, we are an itty, 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 tiny bit away from 20,000 subscribers and we are doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving away 20 gift cards to 20 different subscribers. All subscribers are going to be entered to win and the deadline to subscribe is Friday night at midnight. The winners will be announced right here on Monday night uh, during our live stream. And then we'll announce those on our Instagram page as well. So make sure that you check while you're here in YouTube to make sure that you are subscribed. So you will be entered into our 20,000 subscriber giveaway. Woohoo! It's exciting. Yay. I remember way back when I first started out with Honeybee Stamps. And it was, I think Lisa said it was right, we had right around 2,000 subscribers when I came on board six years ago. And so we have grown tremendously just since I came aboard. So growing leaps and bounds with all of you friends here in the house. And um, we are um, so thankful for you guys. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button there on the Honeybee channel. That way you could be entered into the giveaway. Okay, so tonight we are going to be playing with the, and I'm not going to say the name right. It's either the Into the Woods or the Tall Pines. And I get this and I get the layering stencil names mixed, vice versa, and get them mixed up. But we're going to play with this uh, 3D embossing folder. I already have the paper cut and it embossed. And we're going to do something a little unconventional this evening. Maybe not. But I have had these trees especially, and some of the products from our Adventure Awaits release, I have had them on my mind for Christmas cards. And so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to create six backgrounds. We're going to do some experimenting and we're, I'm going to turn these into like winter wonderland backgrounds that are going to be perfect for your holiday and winter cards. So I've got craft cardstock. I've got some really uh, pretty green and then good old white cardstock that I've got embossed and ready to go. And so I am going to start out. Let's just start out with our good old white cardstock. And I'm going to be playing with inks. We're going to be getting the stickles out this evening. I've got some um, Distress Clear Rock Candy is always good for holiday time. I have our Brilliant White ink. We're going to make it look fun and snowy, but let's start out with just some good old white paper and some green ink. So I'm going to go with my very favorite green. Those of you who know me know that I love Rustic Wilderness. It's just a great green. And I'm going to use one of our blending brushes. Now, I am not going to blend hard on this. One, I want the bristles of the brush. Br excuse me. The br bristles of the brush. That's a tongue twister. To hit the high spots that are pressed into the paper. I don't want to hit in the lower spots, which are going to act as like our white snowy area, right? And so I am just going to start out 
And the more that I kind of go over this and go back and forth, that pigment is going to build up on the high points that are pressed into my cardstock. And you're going to start to see all those little fun embossed details really pop out before your eyes. So I'm just going to twirl my brush this way and that. And again, you don't want, you don't need to, and you don't have to press super hard anywhere that there's a light spot. You can kind of go over it again. I'm going to hit those limbs of that tree right in there. Just like so. And you can tell when you ink blend this, you can tell the points that are the highest points that are pressed into your paper. You can see all the tips of the trees, the tops of the trees are the highest part in that embossing folder. And so that's where it's really going to hit and you're really going to get the most pigment. Now I'm going to pick up some more ink, do a little tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to richen and deepen that up even more. And you're really going to see those branches and those little details coming out. Just sliding the bristles right over the top of that embossed background. Okay, so now... Now we've got our green trees, and I love how when you start with white paper, all the in-between area, which would be like the ground, is all white, like it is snow. So I'm going to leave this just like this. Okay, now let's add a little bit of something to this. Super easy. You know me, I'm all about quick and easy. I'm going to take the stickles. This is crystal stickles. This is um, my favorite because the iridescence and the shimmery stuff in this, it doesn't look funny when you put it onto your paper. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to show you how easy this is. I'm going to start just going right down and hitting a few of these branches and it doesn't even have watch this doesn't even have to be perfect and I know right now you're thinking what in the world is this lady doing because she's just making a total mess okay so you can take let me show you what I've got so far okay do you see what looks like just little glittery drips Okay, we're not going to leave it like that. So I'm going to take the tip of the stickles and I'm just going to start working it back and forth across my tree branches. And it's going to almost act just like the bristles of the blending brush. And it's going to catch all the high spots in the trees. So all those raised branches and limbs and you can use that you can use your finger is another easy way to do this just like that and I'm just working it and sliding the tip of the bottle right across those embossed areas go down my little tree branches here pull it out Okay, let's do some more. More that tree. Let's catch the edge of this right here. Okay, let's see here. Where am I missing some? Right in here. Okay, and we're looking pretty good. I'm going to keep sliding, working my way down. And I usually... I'm not one to get my fingers and my hands super dirty, but today I was really experimenting and I'm all about easy peasy cards and backgrounds. And so I had like the little powdered ink things that react with, you know, water and things like that, playing with them, trying to come up with 
a really cool kind of concept for tonight. And I, it's so easy. Now, you probably have not seen a whole lot, but let me start tilting it in. Let me get it in the right light. Let me tilt it in the, in the light. Okay. Let's see here. Let me get this down here and then let's tilt it. And it's still, you're not getting how pretty it is in real life. Okay, let's go to this screen. Okay, so let me hold it up. Sometimes you can see it better here. Okay, so let me tilt it in the light. Do you see all the winter shimmer in the background? And it's not as harsh looking as it looks on the other screen. And it's just on the high points of those trees. I didn't do any in the little valley areas that we did. Okay, so we have one winter shimmery scene going on here. And then let's go ahead, I'm gonna set this aside and let it dry. And then let's go ahead and move on. Okay. All right. So one more white piece of paper. Let's see what we can do that's a little bit different. Let's do, okay. So I have a question for you. Let me look in the chat. Love the idea, but still can't see it. Okay. Still can't see it. Let me see if I can get it. Let me adjust my light. Let me hold it up and see if it's going to catch in the light. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, do you see how all the trees are really shimmery? But I didn't add anything. There's nothing. It's just the white paper in the center there or in the valleys that are left. Let me get, let's go here. And then let me hold it up. See the shimmer? We tilt it down. Okay. All right. So do any of you like to make um, non-traditional Christmas cards? Let's see. I saw it when you run in front of you. Yes. Yeah, for some reason, when it goes down onto my desk, the colors act funny and I don't know why it does that. Okay. Smell the piney scent. I like that. Okay. Do any of you make non-traditional um, Christmas card colors? So let's, uh, do you have a flashlight on your phone? I do, but my phone is right here filming. Um, like pink, turquoise, um, anything like that. And I'm going to try, let's do a, let's do a fun color on this second white one. And I'm going to look in the comments and let's see, I love non-traditional cards. I was thinking pink trees. Okay. So here we go. Pink and teal. I was thinking that too. I like the pink and teal. It almost looks um, like retro a little bit. Let's see here. Love it. So shimmery, non-traditional colors, pink and teal, coastal colors. Ooh, teal, turquoise. Okay. Pink and turquoise. Okay. I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay, let's do on this white one, let's do pink and let's do turquoise on one of the craft cardstock ones. Okay, so I'm going to reach up in my little shelf of tricks here and let's pull out a pink. So let's, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this pink and I, I you know what, I couldn't even tell you what color pink this is, but you know me, I don't re-ink my brushes that much anyway. So I'm taking it straight out of my little container and let's do the same thing. Let's just go round and round in circles. So tonight what I'm doing is you guys are kind of helping me experiment here. We're going to create six different backgrounds and then on Wednesday night I'm gonna actually make the Christmas cards or winter cards so we'll be adding 
Christmas sentiments, maybe a couple little die cuts here and there, maybe like one of the lovely layers trees that would be pretty, you know, with some sparkle and maybe little pearls or gems or something like that on there. Okay, so now we've got pink trees. Okay, so let's add some sparkle to this. So let's not do the stickles this time. Let's do good old glue. And then we're going to use the clear rock candy. So I'm going to show you how I like to do this. And this, we're going to get dirty for this one. So I'm going to put down a good little dab of glue there. And I'm going to use my fingers. And all I do is I'm going to take my fingers and I'm simply going to pass it and drag it over the high points in the embossing. And some of these, I'm concentrating the adhesive on the outer edges of the limbs, like where the sparkle and where the snow and everything would gather. Okay, so I've got a coffee filter, Distress Clear Rock Candy, and then here we go. Let's add some shimmer. Let's make a mess with glitter. Okay, do a little tap off here, and then let me hold it up. And I'm going to tilt it back and forth just like this. And this looks very red, but is not. Let's go back here and let me hold it up again. Okay. Do you see where it's almost, it looks red on the other screen, but it's a really pretty, it's not a baby pink, but look how pretty and shimmery that is. And I just barely tapped on that liquid adhesive. You can see where most of it, the glitter is concentrated right on the ends of the limbs there. Okay, so let's see. Let me move this little guy out of the way. Let's see if I missed any trees. I think it looks pretty darn good. Just like that. That would even be pretty with like a little snowflake or something like that on there. Okay. So easy peasy. That one is, that one's done. See how easy this is? So mass producing cards. And I'm normally not like a big, I'm going to shake the glitter off. I'm usually not a big mass producer of Christmas cards, but this would be easy. All right, let's put the lid on this. All right, so we talked about turquoise. Let's get some craft cardstock here. Let's do this one. This one is really embossed. See how deep I got that one? And then I have, um, let's see. I wonder if Evergreen Bow is going to be turquoise enough. Let's try it. Okay. Oh, I'm barely going to have to hit this. This is a really rich color. Hold that down. Let's work it both directions here. I'm going to have to darken some of these areas up so we might match that dark spot. There we go. Make sure we get all of our little details covered. Let's get some darker areas there. There we go. Okay. So this on the screen looks very blue to me, but it's not, it's not blue. Okay. So let's do a hold up. Okay. So
So do you see where it's that like turquoisey, what is that called? Evergreen bow. But it's pretty. It's almost like a dusty, a dusty turquoise color. Just like that. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go back down here. And then what do you guys think that we should do with this one? Does this one need shimmer or should we leave some basic and that way we can kind of zhuzh them up on Wednesday with some sentiments and um, die cuts and things like that. This one may be a good one to leave and do more rustic looking maybe. There we go. Deepen up some of those areas. Let's see here. Let's see. I'd leave this one out though. I think so too. Oh, shimmery ribbon. Maybe that's what we do to this one on Wednesday is add, you know, some kind of wintry ribbon situation. Okay. All right. So, so far we've got kind of rustic-y that we're going to leave more plain. We've got our non-traditional, and I wish that this camera would show up like I want it to, our non-traditional, and then we have just winter wonderland with this one. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Let's do this other craft one and let's blend a couple of colors together. Let's do, and I've got my hairs coming out here. Um, let's do Rustic Wilderness and let's do oh, maybe a Citron color or um, 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 let's do if I can find it. Um, not that. Let's do Bundled Sage. Okay, so we have a light and a dark, and I'm going to do bundled sage first, and I'm going to do bundled sage on the tops and then go up with rustic wilderness. Since rustic wilderness is so dark, let's do the tops down bundled sage and get the undersides with the rustic wilderness that's the deep barely running my brush over the top maybe these craft cardstock ones we leave like non-shimmery okay all right, so bundled sage is that really pretty sagey green, very light. Now let's see what it happens if we do rustic wilderness and we go from the bottom up. This is making me nervous. Okay. It is catching the undersides of those branches, like shadowy a little bit. Let's ink it up, let's ink some more. sides again. Okay, now let's see here. 
Where did our other crafty one go? All right, so here is the evergreen bow. And then this is the mix of bundled sage and let me flip it again. The mix of bundled sage and rustic wilderness. So let me find the sweet spot here. See, and it's not nearly as dark as what it looks like on the other screen. What do you guys think? Should we do something else to it? Do you think? Or do we leave it? I'm going to look at the comments here in just a second. Let's see here. Have you tried blending the paints? I have not. I, we could though. Have you tried blending the paints? No, Kelly, I like it. Um, I'm reading the nice combination of variations. I love the turquoise. I still love the turquoise. I do too. I put a little white ink on the tips of the branches. Mmm. Okay, let's let's try that. Whoops, wrong screen. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try white ink. Let's do white on the and okay, and all of you know that when you get the white ink in here, it's gonna make, it's gonna be a mess, right? Okay, so let's do, um, I'm just gonna start barely dragging it. This, any kind of white opaque ink is almost like, the, it's almost like paint. Do you see how even the paper almost acts like it's wet? That is opaque ink. Just dragging over the top. Just like this. Okay, now let's, let's go back here to the magic screen. Okay, and let's see what you guys think. It's very, um, how do you even describe that? Very, I don't even know how to describe it. With the white ink. The white ink, I can tell you, is going to show up better. Oh, it didn't make a mess on my brush. The white ink is going to show up better on the next one. So let's go back here. And I think I'm going to leave that as, as like that one. Let's do white ink. Okay, now I've got a wild hair. Let's do white ink on this one. I'm not even going to ink this up again. I'm just going to hit over the top of these. Just like this and drag it down. Let's see here. Sherry, we're kindred spirits. Let me see what Sher Miss Sherry is saying. Misty Mountains. Oh, thank you. Ethereal. Thank you. Subtle. Okay, this is why I need you guys to craft. We need to craft together. I think that we need to have, I, I keep saying this and telling you guys this. We need to have like a honeybee something like a, an event or a something. Oh, this one is very, okay. So whoever said um, seashore, sea, ocean, something, this one with that, with the white turned very seashore looking, very beachy. Okay, let me hold it up. And I wish I could find a good light. I find a good light. Do you see where that, you have the dark still of that color, but it turned it very misty looking. Ooh, look at that. That is so cool looking. Okay. Okay, I'm getting more excited. Okay, let's go back down here to the desk. All right, so we've got the craft. Now, let's play with green, okay? All right, so green. 
So let's do the white pigment on the green paper. This is where this is really going to show up. Okay, so I have that one. Let me think about how we're going to do this. I think I want to use this one. This one is pressed better and I'm going to drag it just like I was because it's going to hit those high branches just like that. Pull it down. Barely rubbing the brush over the top. Just like that. Okay. All right. Are you seeing this one? See, the white really, really shows up on green and dark cardstock. Even if you wanted to do like a red Christmassy background with trees and with white over the top, that would really show up. Okay, now this is where we're going to get, we're going to do some fun here. Okay, I'm getting the glue back out. Uh-oh, it's almost time to break out a new Honeybee Stamps glue. Okay, let's get, work the, the finger here and let's start dragging right over the top and there's like no rhyme reason neatness this is like the easy peasiest backgrounds here is anybody and maybe i'm just crazy we're gonna have to break out some more glue is anybody else thinking about Christmas cards? I know some people start really early. Me, you guys know me. I'm not starting Christmas cards yet. I can't even think about Christmas cards. So while I'm rubbing glue and doing glitter, I'll tell you what's going on here at my house. We are preparing to move, and some of you might say, oh, Kelly, wow, you're military, it's time to move again, which normally I would say, yes, it's time for a military move, but no, we're just crazy, and when my husband gets home from his deployment, we're just moving across town like crazy people. No, we're not. I mean, we, yeah, we're crazy, but let me tap this off. Okay, now this one is wow, winter wonderland, okay? We are moving across town for a couple of different reasons. One, we are renting the house that we are in now, and... um you know, sometimes renting, and I have to say, it has been a great house. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful neighborhood. But we are an hour away, one way, from my son's school. He, he goes to a little private school here in our community. And so it's an hour there and then an hour back. And then the afternoon to pick him up, it's an hour there and an hour back. So we're moving closer to my son's school. Okay, so this is how we started, and this is how we are right now. Let's do the front-facing screen. Okay, so let me get it. This one's this one's really cool, y'all. Let me get let me hit the sweet spot. There we go. This one's cool. The green with the white. What do you guys think? And see the shimmer in the light. That's a good, this was a good one. All right, so let's go back down. Okay, so it's a lot of driving every day. Hours in the car every day. To, and we love his little school. So you guys are kind of getting a little story time here. Okay, other green one. So what should we do with this one? 
Um, should we do green ink to darken up areas and then the stickles? Should we do gold ink and make this one really um, shimmery with gold, the gold ink like this? What do we think? Let's say my youngest son and his family live in Beaufort. Oh, there you go. We live in Columbia. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm trying to catch up. Let's see here. Uh, what are you rubbing on with your finger? Glue. That right there is liquid adhesive. It's glue. And Lisa would freak out. I hope Lisa's here in the chat. Is she here? I'm sure she is. Lisa doesn't, Lisa would freak out about putting glue and, you know, anything on her mat, but it wipes right up, up just like that. Okay, so back to our little convo here is, it's, it's too much. Our, um, so his school is across town. Um, our church is across town. And most of you know that um, my husband has been deployed for the last, uh, my sister lived in Columbia, um, silver. Okay, we've got silver and we have gold. Um, it's just, it's been, it's too much. And my husband's movement, or moving home. He's coming home from deployment next month, 25 days actually. So we're super excited about that. He's been gone for a year. Um, but the, all the driving and everything is too much. So we're moving across town. So that is the crazy town. I, I, all of you know how awful it is to move and it's, it's a lot. So, um, we're doing that. Yay. Yay. Silver gold. All right. I detested picking up my grands when they lived in Austin. So glad they live close now. Yes. Waffle flower media mat. Oh, thank you. Yes. Yay for 25 days. I know most of you have been gold, please. That I'm thinking gold and green too. Um, it is sold. Yes, it's sold at Honeybee Stamps. So um, most of you have been around uh, for a long time. We may have some newbies here, but um, hold on. I'm going to get a drink. We're doing, this is just a craft and chat tonight. <clears throat> Most of you have been around long enough to know that <clears throat> my husband has been um, deployed all year long. And so it's been a crazy year. Hurrah, we're down to 25 days. Can you get, can you all believe that? That I know it's gone fast for y'all, but for us, it's like forever. It feels like. Le moving is my, I know we've moved. So my husband and I have been married for 21 years. And so you can imagine all the movie. I think this, now this is a move by choice and hold on. I'm going to grab, um, avoid being brush. This is a move by choice, but, um, it's kind of a half like we have to move across town because we're staying here um, when he gets home. And then here we only have about eight. We, yeah. 18 months. I had to think about that in my brain for a minute. Um, we only have about 18 months before he can retire after um, he will have spent. Um, that looks a mess, but I'm thinking it's going to go on here. Well, um, after spending 23 some odd years, we've been married for 21 in the military. And so we're staying here. He has plans for when he retires. It's looking like right now, if everything goes as planned, you know how that goes, which I mean, we're only 18 months away that he's going to go and um, start flying for the airlines. And 
So we're going to be here. Plus, we really love my son's school. We've never been in this um, situation before because we've always, you guys, the gold. This is something. Um, we've never been in this situation before because, you know, we've always been at the mercy and the will and the needs of the Air Force. And so that's all I have to say about that. So, and we, I have to tell you, then I would not change anything that anything about um, being married into or my husband being in the Air Force or anything like that. It's been a wonderful, wonderful life. But, um, you know, he's he's put in 23 years or whatever, and it's time to retire. So um, we're old and it's and it's time to settle down and and be in one place this is really okay this um this would be really really cool for fall as well look at this okay so we may have to do we may have to do let me pull all these out that we've done so far we may have to do like a, some christmas ones and then we may have to do some fall ones okay because this with like a Fall gold sentiment something. This is something. And I like you guys picked the gold. So, um, I mean, you're helping here. Okay. So there's the green, the white with the shimmer. We have the opaque gold shimmery ink. Wow. Okay. We have white with green and shimmer. We have craft with the turquoise evergreen bow and the white over the top. We have the craft with, what was this? This was um, bundled sage, rustic wilderness, and then a little bit of the white, very subtle. Okay, and then we have the green and oh this is i did this one earlier those were my practice ones this one was a practice and this one in my hand was a practice and then we have our very non-traditional we have our white paper with pink and then we have our shimmer over the top so okay so that's what we have going on so far Okay, so let's like stack them all up. So we have white, um, green, green, and then we have our craft card stock, and then we have another white one here. All right, so we're going to make cards. We're going to have one fall or Christmas and then holiday, but we've got a lot going on here that we're going to turn into cards. Let's see. I, I will have to play with these. We have a good assortment. Thank you, Always Rejoicing. We do. Okay, let's see here. Donna says, that's incredible. My son-in-law has five years in the Air Force. Not sure that he'll do. Okay, so Donna, um, I think purple would look good too with the white. Yeah, Donna, uh, who was that? Donna and Robert. I have to say that we went into it thinking um, maybe we'll do the 10 years or however long. My husband is a pilot so he had to pay for his time right going through pilot training i have to say it's been a very very good life there are a lot of pluses there are a lot of not so great things like my husband has been gone for a year i will have to tell you and sorry you guys are listening to this that 99% of what has gone on with our life in the military has been a positive. I can honestly tell you that there have been things that have gone on with um, medical that I'm so thankful that I have had 
the medical that we have for the military, because I don't know what would have happened if we had been in the civilian world. There's positives and there's negatives. Yes. Do not. Uh, we thank you, Rachel. You are so sweet. So grateful for our military. Thank you. I'm in a crazy mood tonight. I think pink trees with a light turquoise snowfall. Yes. I'm hearing you. Um, would be amazing. That would be cool too. Yeah. We're all just friends here crafting together, right? Okay. So, I, well, I'm grateful for you guys too. It has been a wild, crazy 21 years that we have been married. It's almost scary to think about that it is time for him to transition is a good word into civilian life. Um, he is looking right now like he's going to fly for the airlines, which that's exciting. Um, my son is an Air Force doctor. Glad you had a positive experience. Yes, Madeline. And I am so thankful for our Air Force. I have some really good friends that are um, Air Force doctors as well. Um, and, and then we've had our not so great experiences with military medicine. But I can tell you that a lot of those have not been on the Air Force side, if that makes sense. So there you go. Um, 21 years is a long time. It is. 21 years is a long time. We've been married for 21 years, but my husband is at 21 years of service, 23 years of service right now. So I think by the time that he reti retires, he will be like at 25 years. So that's my husband passed away when he was in the Air Force. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. There's a lot of crazy things that goes on. So those of you that don't know, and we'll wind it up, wind it down here. But my husband is a search and rescue helicopter pilot right now. And so he's seen, seen a lot of crazy stuff, done a lot of crazy stuff. His most favorite thing that he's ever done is worked Hurricane Katrina and so when you guys saw like the crazy helicopters that were flying in and pulling people out of Hurricane Katrina, that is some of the crazy stuff that he's done, uh, flying in and picking people up. But that was his most favorite thing that he's ever done is um, be able to help all those people and, and um, pets and all kinds of crazy stuff that he did while he was there. Okay, so before we sign off here and we have our winner for tonight, I want to remind you guys that we have a crazy fun giveaway that we are doing and we have almost hit 20,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel and we are going to give away 20 gift cards to 20 subscribers and you have from now until Friday at midnight to make sure that you are subscribed here on our YouTube channel. And then we're going to announce all of the giveaway winners, all 20 of you on our live live stream next Monday night. So we are super, we're like almost to that 20,000. We're super close. So we're hoping that we can get everybody to subscribe and finish that out and then we're going to announce 20 gift card winners and it is time right now for lisa to tell us over in the chat hopefully lisa is here um hey ricky there's my friend christy beans is here too um hello my friends um it's time for lisa to give us our winner and then i will put that up on the screen how much are the gift cards for? I think we're doing $20 20 times. So not too shabby. Looks like we only have a we only have about a hundred people left. So if you guys will go and share and tag your friends and tell them to come to subs subscribe. And all the things, we will very quickly hit the 100 people. 
Um, yay. I don't think that Lisa is here. I don't think she's here. Ricky, I'm going to let you scroll through. Ricky is one of our amazing design team members. Ricky, will you scroll through all of our amazing, fun people that we have here? And will you, will you choose a giveaway winner for tonight? Let's let Ricky have a little fun. Ricky said, okay, one moment. He's so fun. Ricky's one of my design team buddies. Let's see here. We do giveaways all the time. What is more? I love giveaways. What's more fun than a giveaway? Do not land on my name. Let's see here. Go, Ricky. Go, Ricky. I'm trying to make Krista Beard. Woohoo. Okay, Krista Beard. You know the drill. If you will email me at Kelly, K E L L E Y, at honeybeestamps.com, we will get your prize going here. Awesome. Congratulations, Krista. Yay, Krista is from Jacksonville, Florida. All right, you guys. Join me again on Wednesday night. We are going to turn all of our amazing, yummy, sparkly, glittery backgrounds into cards on Wednesday night. We're going to pull out a bunch of sentiments, maybe a couple of die cuts. If we can find some things that would be fun to go with these cards, we're going to get it all figured out. We're going to make lots of cards on Wednesday night. So come back and join me. All right. Yay for Ricky. Thank you, Krista. Make sure you email me, Krista, and then I will see all of you back here on Wednesday night. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.